All right, guys, Good boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in our home office. First of all, I just want to say thanks to everyone who is watching the channel. Also, uh, if you haven't already done so, go check out my uh, revised website, kb32tech.com. There's a really smoking deal over there right now. Uh, Palmetto State Armory has the CMC flat face trigger uh, with the bow on it for $139.99. Free shipping. This is the key. Free shipping. Right now, that's the cheapest I've seen that trigger in a while. But $139.99 free shipping. Go to the website, kb32tech.com and check it out. Anyway, uh, you know, Smoking Joe, as of late, he's really done some really cool things. Uh, as a matter of fact, my wife just informed me that CBS uh, did a study that showed that, yes, Trump did inherit this wonderful economy that he has. And also, I'd also like to point out that, you know, as Kamala Harris was uh, bragging about Joe's leadership during the Ebola uh, pandemic, that it, in, in really at reality, uh, the survival rate in the United States for Ebola was 50%. So that meant 50% of the people who had it died. And as a matter of fact, for a total of a whopping four people had it and two individuals died. But they did a great job at, I guess, isolating it and doing whatever they had to do. But uh, no one has ever had to face what Trump has had to face during this thing, as well as an adversarially, uh, another part of the government who is just constantly trying to combat him in every way, shape, or form. They keep saying, we'll bring the country together. How is it possible, do you think, for one second after what the Democrats have done in the last four years that we will allow this country to come together. If Biden wins this thing, I swear to God, I will do everything I can to split this country in half, just like they did. Usa, I'm just kidding. Let's talk about this. Uh, I know people are getting sick and tired of it because it just goes on and on and on and on, but Joe Biden's gun control plan is just never ending. I believe if you looked at the website, it's joebiden.com slash gun safety slash pound sign, but it just, it's almost too much to fathom. So let's just hit on a couple of the little details. And this will be the last video, I promise. I don't want to bring anybody down. All right, so, uh, hold on one second. Yes. Okay, empower law enforcement to effectively enforce our gun laws. No shit, we've been trying to do that for a long time, but there's enough gun laws on the books that if they were able to enforce the ones, keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't be having firearms, half this problem be over. Uh, require gun owners to safely store their weapons. Biden will pass legislation requiring firearm owners to store weapons safely in their homes. That goes without saying, you stupid. In other words, what they want to do is if in the event uh, you don't, they can put you in jail. Hold adults accountable for giving minors access to firearms. Yeah, no kidding, jerk off. Put America on the path to ensuring 100% of the firearms sold in America are smart guns. They tried to do this a little while ago. You can't do that. Expand the use of evidence-based lethality assessments by law enforcement in cases of domestic violence. Uh, establish a new task force on online harassment and abuse to focus on the connection between mass shootings, online harassment, extremism, and violence against women. Oh boy. All right, so little else we got here. Empower law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. Require firearms. Uh, stop ghost guns. One way to people who cannot legally obtain a gun may gain access to a weapon by assembling uh, a one, typo, Joe, uh, on their own, either by buying a kit to, of disassembled, disassembled gun parts or 3D printing uh, working firearm. Biden will stop proliferation of these so-called ghost guns and kits and all the stuff that we like to do. Uh, reform fund and empower the U.S. Justice Department to enforce our gun laws. Yeah, direct the ATF to issue an annual report on firearms trafficking. Tackle urban gun violence, got that. Dedicate the brightest scientific minds to solving the gun violence public health epidemic. All I need is somebody who is a brainiac who doesn't know anything about firearms doing a study. Prohibit the use of federal funds to arm or train educators to discharge firearms. Why would you not want to utilize everything to your ability to help prevent future things by one, let's go ahead and arm teachers. Now there's some people out there that disagree with it. I would feel 
safe sending my kid to school knowing that there might be five or six teachers in that school that are armed. A hard target is less likely to be hit than a soft target. Uh, address the epidemic of suicides by firearms. Yes, I totally get this. I'm on board and I think everybody wants this. But if you could get rid of suicide by firearm, which will never happen, but if you could, that would move the deaths from the firearm to say strangulation or, you know, parking your car in a garage and leaving it running. Because the problem is, is you're never gonna prevent somebody from killing themselves if they want. Uh, let's see, is supporting survivors of violence in their communities by giving them the ability to sue the shit out of everybody. We've already made that clear. Make federal programs for trauma informed. I don't know what that means. Create a network of trauma care centers. Train health care and other service providers in trauma centered care. All right, that's it. I'm not going to say anything else about this guy, but it's a never ending list of pipe dreams. Now, there are some people out there. They made the comment that, oh, we're just fear-mongering. Nobody's going to take your guns. You got that right. No one is going to take my guns. And I'm not fear-mongering. And just because, well, they did this before. Well, I'll tell you what. You go ahead and vote for Biden on your assumption that no one's going to take your guns. Because if any of this becomes true or comes to fruition, your guns will be going down the street. One, because you're going to have to uh, register them with the ATF. Uh, the probability of having to pay a $200 tax stamp for your so-called assault weapons as well as any magazine over 10 rounds, that'll bankrupt some people. But again, also reporting your firearm if it's lost or stolen. That's because if you, at some point in time, you report it lost and then all of a sudden, three or four years down the road, you have it again, guess what? You're in possession of an unlawful firearm because one, you were supposed to have a license to possess a firearm, a license to exercise your Second Amendment right. Blows my mind. I bet you you need an ID to get a firearm. That's a right, but you don't have to have an ID to vote. And you ever wonder, and this is off subject, but why in the world are Democrats so okay with the so-called uh, mail-in ballots? Oh yeah, sure, no problems, nothing will ever happen. Don't worry about it, it's all good. And if you're against it, well, you're just a bigot. Anyway, that's my two points. Don't forget, kb32tech.com, that's the new website. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, and we always end them like this. God bless America, God bless men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. It's freedom is not free. I got to get to work. Love you guys, long time, happy endings. I'm out of here, y'all be good.